Hi everyone, it's Ellie and me. Uh, we're doing Plank Plus, the challenge this month. Variations on Plank Pose plus Wrist Love. So let's get started right away with some wrist uh, preparation before we go to our more challenging plank. So we'll shake out the wrists and flick the fingers. And now open and spread your hands and pull the fingers apart, stretch them. And then like a claw, bring them in and squeeze them in and tighten the fists. So we're working the muscles of the hands and the fingers here, very important. And do that two more times. Good. And then we will extend one arm, grab that hand, pull back, stretch. Extend the other arm, grab that hand, pull back. Very nice. And relax and shake it out. Okay, we'll be doing more wrist uh, things in between a few plank poses. So next up, come to all fours, table position. So it's important that you warm up the wrists as well as your spine be before moving right into plank today. So if you will, put your mind in your tailbone and your pelvis and tuck under. So do pelvic tucks to warm up the lower spine and the hips. So tuck under and lift. You're isolating in your mind your lower back. Now, if being on your palms here is not comfortable, you might be on your fists. Tuck under and lift. Tuck under and lift. Or you might even be on your forearms and tuck under and lift. Tuck under and lift. Okay? So, You've tucked under and you've done your pelvic tilts. Now upper body, upper spine warm up and shoulders. We'll drop the chest between the hands and let the uh, shoulder blades come together on your back. And then you'll push away and feel your shoulder blades spreading across your upper back. So drop and spread. Drop and push. Two more times. Good. Last time. Hold. And now find some type of a um, stretch, an extended child's or a puppy stretch to just lengthen the spine and give your arms and wrists a break. Go ahead here and come up on the heel of your hands and pull the backs of your hands towards your face. Fingers are spreading. And then tap them. Tap, 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 hold. Good, and then you can walk the hands in to come to a tall kneeling position. You might be sitting on your heels or up on your knees and just take a moment. Okay, are you ready to plank? So I'm gonna start with the big plank, top of the push-up plank. You can always drop to your knees at any time, but the most important thing we're going to do in this plank is activate all of your core muscles. It's not just going to be a, um, just standing there kind of relaxed. Nope. We're going to energize all of our muscles and make this a true core strengthener. Okay, let's come top of the push-up plank. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, knees, and then extend your legs behind you. And there you are in that plank. Good. Press down. Relax your neck. Feel those shoulder blades across your shoulder, uh, across your back. And then notice if your hips are dropping and your back is arched, you want to lift up. And if you're too much too high, you might be in a down dog. Come to a plank. Okay. So find that position that feels really straight for you. Hold it here and breathe. Now, Isometrically, isometrically, please drag your hands towards your feet and your feet towards your hands. Hands towards feet, feet towards hands. Hold, hold, hold. If this is um, enough, you can drop to your knees, but keep it up. Hands towards knees and activate. Breathe. All right? So you're pulling. See if you can go both directions, though. Toes to hands, hands to toes. And feel that inner strength. Woo! 
All right, and relax. All right, that was your top of the push-up plank. Let's go to forearm plank. Okay, so your elbows are underneath your shoulders and your feet are behind you. Again, drop to your knees if you need to. And now activate. Isometrically pull your forearms towards your feet and drag your feet without moving them towards your face. Hold and breathe. You should feel core engagement. Beautiful, knees drop and come back. So as you can see, I didn't hold either of those that long, but I think I did them effectively. So you're gonna do your version of plank. You can follow me. We'll do this every day uh, for this next month, okay? So thank you very much. Uh, oh, let's go back to our wrist load. We'll finish up with more wrist load. Interlace your fingers, bring the heel of your hands together, and now circle around. Wrist mobility. See if you can figure out how to go the other direction. Something I can't seem to figure out, but you can probably do it. <laughs> Breathing. Good, and shake it out. Let's bring one arm up overhead. Drop the hand between your shoulder blades. Take the other hand, grab that elbow, and gently pull in. And then that hand that's between your shoulder blades, go ahead and kind of move it around, relax, shake it. A few of you may be able to bring this top arm around and connect. Do that if you like. Breathe. Okay, and then switch sides. So, now the other side will drop the hand between the shoulder blades. Grab the elbow, gently draw towards center, and relax the wrist and hands between the shoulder blades at your back. Pulling in, again, one side might be able to connect. You can give it a try or not. Breathe. And let's bring both arms overhead and release your arms down. That's it. Thanks for joining me in this month's challenge. Remember, there's lots of different variations and we'll share some uh, of those in subsequent videos. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet a member of the Strong Bones Facebook Challenge, go below and you'll find a link where you can request to join. We'd love to have you. Um, and also, any comments you want to make, please make them below. And I'll see you in the Strong Bones Challenge Facebook group. Namaste.